For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. As many as 13 tornadoes touched down in Middle Tennessee on Saturday, killing six people and knocking out power to tens of thousands. Damage was reported in at least 11 counties. The National Weather Service said the hardest hit areas were Clarksville, Madison, Hendersonville, and Gallatin. Memphis Light Gas and Water will stay in its headquarters in downtown Memphis for now. The utilities president and CEO Doug McGowan first proposed purchasing a building on Goodlett Farms Parkway in Cordova to the utilities board in October. The deal would have involved the sale of MLGW's downtown building to offset the cost of the Cordova property. But the next time McGowan appeared at a Memphis City Council meeting, some of the council members pushed back on the idea, saying the move would send the wrong message to customers whose rates are going up, as well as hurt downtown by moving hundreds of MLGW employees to Cordova. If the headquarters stays where it is, the utility would still have to make much-needed improvements to the building. A Knoxville-based environmental group is voicing health and safety concerns about the development of a landfill for radioactive waste from the Y-12 uranium processing facility in Oak Ridge, More from Danielle Smith with the Tennessee News Service. For six decades, Y-12 has been processing and storing highly enriched uranium. Tom Vey Cardelet, coordinator for the Oak Ridge Environmental Peace Alliance, says her group is raising concerns to the community and lawmakers about what it sees as the environmental hazards and public health risks that come with creating a landfill for toxic waste. There's been some violations with the Clean Water Act. So like right now, uh, a radioactive waste landfill in Oak Ridge is um, approved to be built, but this required waiving the Clean Water Act rules. So there's like upcoming litigation around this. Cardale says the landfill concerns are in addition to the ongoing threat of radioactive contamination in Oak Ridge's land, water, and air due to the Y-12 weapons complex activities. She notes the issue isn't new, citing a lawsuit against the Department of Energy over mercury released decades ago. Critics of the uranium uranium enriching process says it poses health and safety risks to the community. I'm Danielle Smith, Tennessee News Service. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org.